Today is a very exciting day. Not only are we unboxing a case, but we're also reviewing the first Super Chase of the 2019 Disney Cars Mainline. And in my opinion, it is the best Super Chase we've gotten in like four years. So I'm super excited to dive into this box. As you can see, it is Cars Diecast Oversized Assortment R also known as Deluxe or Mega, whatever you want to call it. There's only four Deluxes in this case, so that's why I decided to combine the review with the unboxing. So as not to waste your guys' time with two separate videos, I thought this would do perfectly fine. And also, this is the first case that actually contains new Deluxes for the year. All of the previous cases have had re-releases, albeit they've been variations because they're from Thailand, but this is a pretty significant case. And as per usual, I got it from my main supplier, Get Me Collectibles. I get a lot of questions in the comments asking where I get these cars, which I find a little confusing because I always say I get it from Get Me Collectibles or wherever I do get it from. And I put his contact details in the description below. So if you want to buy a case yourself, all you got to do is email him. If you want to buy Globy separately, all you got to do is go to his eBay store and search up Globy, search up Super Chase, and it'll pop right on up. He has it for a great price. And there's only 4,000 Super Chases, which actually, have I even mentioned the Super Chase? It is Globy. So I'm super pumped. As you can see, there is a plastic version we have. So let's just dive right on in. Two minutes of a preface is long enough. I'm recording this on Mother's Day, so hopefully you guys are having a nice day with your mom or, you know, whatever you're doing. I hope you're having a good time. I had work this morning and I rushed home. I wanted to get this video out for you guys. Nice. We got it open. Oh, man, there it is. I'm so happy. We're going to start with the Max first because they're boring. So yeah, Mac has been in a couple previous cases. He is a Thailand variant though. There are of course two Macs in this case, which is a little disappointing. I would have preferred some variety, like, I don't know, maybe a new Thailand variant of Dan Holland or somebody like that Sarge with the cannon. But that's okay, I get why they do it because Mac's a main character. I am pretty happy that they included Van Scanlane again because he is definitely worth the deluxe title like when you talk deluxe he is a deluxe he fits the bill he almost fits up the entire blister here so that definitely indicates to me and the weight that he really is a good deluxe and you know is worth the seven or eight dollars you pay in the store whereas i would beg to differ that some other deluxes aren't really deluxes maybe sorry with canon as an example of that but anyways here is what we've all been wanting globy the super chase the model ral model rare not sure what language that is maybe that's a french but yeah, this is awesome. World Grand Prix Globy. So we're going to talk about what Globy actually is and what he means in terms of the car's world because it's not as simple as just a character that, you know, we usually review. He's not a character. He's actually the World Grand Prix mascot. And as you can see on the picture there, they show him as an inflatable balloon. Basically, they have the ties of him. And so they... I don't know, it's just kind of strange how they interpret him as in this diecast rendering of him. You know, he's a car. You know, you'd think if you just saw the diecast here that he spoke in the movie like anybody else. But no, they kind of took something that wasn't a character in the movie and made him into a diecast. And I'll show you guys pictures from the movie when we open them up. But I did want to talk about that briefly while I have him out here. You can see he's more of, you know, just like a mascot. You know, he's on the sign there in the Tokyo alley streets super chase vehicles are limited to more no more than 4,000 units produced of course and there's a nice little picture of globy and of course he is in the world grand prix series which is a little weird because all super chases thus far have been in the scavenger on series which makes sense because that is the series with the rarer type cars like metallics rubber tire cars etc but no big deal. I really don't care about the series. 
But yeah, let's get that box out of here and I'll be right back. Yes, I will be opening up a Super Chase. Don't cringe, guys. It's really not that big a deal. 4,000 is a lot. Some Super Chases never become rare like Morgan Martin. So I really have no problem opening him up. I'm sure he won't be too hard to get, you know, at least on eBay in the future. Right, so here is Globy out of the package, looking absolutely amazing, and he is quite a bit heavier than I thought he'd be. Like this whole circular spheric portion here is metal, so that's awesome. Now to get on with his appearance, quote unquote, in Cars 2, simply put, he is the mascot for the World Grand Prix. You can see him on billboards, you can see him in inflatable balloons like we saw kind of on the card art there and there's that awesome scene when professor z jumps on top of an inflatable globy to try and escape holly shiftwell so i think that was the best moment of globy in the movie so you can see some screenshots there on the screen of course and you can kind of actually see a little bit of globy not fully on the world grand prix racers just kind of like the colors, you can see that circular logo right there. That is kind of what he's adapted from, but really he's just to show like, you know, the three countries or the entire world, but really there was only three countries that the World Grand Prix took place in. Now, he is actually engraved. You can actually feel the levels of like the eyes here versus the sphere and all the lines, which I think is an awesome detail. They could have just as easily made him completely flat around, but they engraved all these lines and the eyes in there, which that's just amazing. Like, thanks, Mattel. That is actually a great job on your part there. And he just kind of looks silly because that's what he's meant to be. Like, you know, you're driving down the street, like a, down a retail section. You see one of those tall, I don't know how to describe it, inflatable tall guys just waving his arms around. I don't know. I don't know what those are called, but just kind of those weird things. And they just look so goofy, but that is the point of it. And that's exactly what Globy is here. His eyes aren't fully aligned there. He's just got a simple smile. But I think that makes them all the much better. Now, a couple different questions here about what kind of geography we have going on here on Globy. It is definitely, I don't know, it's not exactly right. This definitely looks like North America and South America, even though they made South America just look like a chicken leg or something. I've seen many different, I don't know, names called of these countries like this. I've heard it being called a giant bird. So I can kind of see that. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That is his head right there. Definitely. But more than likely though, this is Europe, Africa, Asia. Australia should be down here, but it looks like they tossed it up here. It's a little weird, unless that's supposed to be the Arctic. And then they just decided Australia didn't exist. Looks like the Antarctica down here, it looks like most of it's melted in the cars world. And we now just have three Antarctic islands. Interesting. And we can see the base code there, L42A, which means it was produced in the 42nd week of 2018 at the A factory, which is a long time ago. The cars that we've been reviewing in case M and all those other cases, like, for example, Metallic Rex Reveler. These are like M, M05, like that. So, I don't know. It's kind of interesting that he is so old, but he's just coming out now. He does have huge four tires here that roll very well. And a plastic blue spoiler that attaches up to the top. Now, I do have a couple prototypes of Globy that I was able to get last year. And I'm very happy I was able to get them. I'm a huge prototype fan and to have a prototype of a Super Chase, a Super Chase Deluxe and a Super Chase Deluxe that is just so awesome, so unique. Globy really encompasses all those things. So I was really happy to get my hands on a couple of these. And you can see they're the same exact model. It doesn't seem like they changed anything except for the colors, obviously. But this is just supposed to be like a test shot. You can definitely tell more easily here that there's two parts to Globy, the top hemisphere and the bottom. 
And the bottom portion here is plastic. Let's see. Yep, they did that same thing here. It's less obvious because of that white stripe there, but these are two separate metal pieces. And then the bottom part here with the axles is plastic, and that's understandable. They kept the spoiler the same and the tires nice. Just obviously painted everything. And it looks like they did have the engravings on the prototypes. Moving on now to Big Boy Globy. So this guy actually came out over eight years ago for the debut of all the Cars 2 merchandise in a very peculiar line. It was called Squinkies, so that's kind of a weird name right off the bat. And it was kind of like mini racers, but they weren't metal. They didn't roll. They were even smaller. I don't even remember how they came, if it was like a mystery pack or something, but I never bought any. I just recently got this Globy that came in a Squinkies playset. It was like a dispenser. You could load all the Globies into him and then kind of like spill them out. I don't know. It was weird. Mattel didn't release many of them at all past 2011. I don't think any at all, actually, but it was just a weird line. I did want to get this Globy, though, because it's a pretty good interpretation of what he'd be in the movie, since he's pretty big and it actually looks kind of nice. I like this Globy a lot, minus the removable head and the big hole on the bottom, but that's okay. I'll take what I can get. Now, I didn't even know last year that they would make a metal Globy the following year, so... That's all right, I'm glad to have two. It makes for a nice comparison in this video. Look at that, double Globy, oh my God. Globy eight Globy, like Pac-Man, oh my gosh. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Globy 8 Globy. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm really happy with this Super Chase. Over the past few years, we've gotten some very lame Super Chases. Sergeant High Gear was pretty cool, but Morgan Martins, Cruz Ramirez as Crazy A Francis Beltline, J Lowly, Duct Tape Mather, they were all very lame. Bud was pretty cool though for 2016, but all in all, I think Globy is one of the better, more unique super chases ever. And yeah, it's nice to have a couple prototypes and the big one that we could all share and, you know, compare with today. So thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon for my review of Kevin Riven. Unless by some miracle, I don't know, I review something else like some new XRS cars or I don't know, lots of stuff coming. Maybe even a hunt, episode 12, the return of the hunt. Lots of awesome stuff coming on my channel. So definitely stay tuned for that. It's a very exciting time for cars this year, without a doubt. So enjoy your Mother's Day, guys. I'll let you go. Bye now.